Hi, I'm Zach Picard, Product Manager with Pentair Aquatic Ecosystems. Today we're going to do a teardown of the Veris pump so you can see what's inside, what makes it work, and how to service it. This is a highly efficient thermoplastic pump. The metal parts that are inside are made of 316 stainless steel. It has an upgraded aquaculture duty mechanical seal to make it so it can deal with salt water and some tough conditions that we find in aquaculture applications. So I'm going to take the pump apart and show you what's inside and how to service it. Pentair Aquatic Ecosystems Veris Pump provides extraordinary electrical and hydraulic efficiency that delivers premium performance and low electrical costs. It's available in flow rates up to 800 gallons per minute and in horsepowers of 5, 7.5, 10, and 15. Before servicing any equipment, always be sure to disconnect power and use appropriate lockout tagout procedures. To disassemble the pump, use 5 8 inch wrenches to remove the four nuts and bolts that hold the body to the seal plate. Next, pry the motor and seal plate assembly away from the pump body. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the four bolts that hold the diffuser onto the seal plate. Then remove the diffuser. Remove the impeller screw by holding the impeller in place and using a 3 8 inch socket to remove the screw that goes through the center of the impeller and into the motor shaft. Remove the impeller from the motor shaft. Take care not to lose the small motor shaft key. Half of the mechanical seal is located on the motor shaft and the other half is pressed into the seal plate. The seal plate consists of two halves. Some careful prying may be required to remove one half from the other. To remove the motor bolts, use a half inch socket. So there it is, the Veris pump completely torn down and disassembled. As you can see, it's a very robust design. It's quite simple to work on. Completely disassembled, here we have it, the motor, two parts of the seal plate. We have the mechanical seal here where it mates at the seal plate. We have the motor shaft pin that secures the impeller onto the motor shaft right here. And we have the diffuser that goes onto the seal plate mounting around the impeller. And of course, all of that mounts right here into the pump housing or the pump body. This design makes it very easy to work on because you can unbolt the motor and the seal plate diffuser and impeller assembly and pull it away from the pump body without even disconnecting your plumbing from the pump. So you can do a motor swap and replace a mechanical seal without even needing to disturb the pump body from where it's installed in the system. I'm Zach Picard with Pentair Aquatic Ecosystems. Please visit PentairAES.com to learn more about the Veris pump.